Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back for another Nelly Diverse skincare video. The topic of the day is going to be how to pick your anti-aging serum. Now, before we actually get into the different serums that we have for anti-aging, I just wanted to kind of differentiate the different types of aging. So you can have, I mean, everybody is going to be aging in different ways. So you're gonna have some people who are going to have a lack of tone, which is your lack of elasticity, and that you're generally going to see it around the oval of the face. We're going to have the actual wrinkles, which are going to be a lack of collagen. So when you can actually see uh, whether they're superficial or deeper lines in your face, those are going to be your lack of collagen. We also have the muscle contraction related wrinkles, which we're going to see here or on the forehead, uh, very often around the eyes as well. Those are going to be your expression wrinkles. And then of course we have our age management products. So we can't necessarily stop aging. There's no way to make our aging process stop because everybody is going to be aging and the quantity of collagen that we're producing is going to decrease with age, but also the quality of collagen that we produce is going to decrease as well. So before we get into that, uh, well, those are going to be the, your different types of agings. And I just wanted to give a little information about peptides because we do get, we, we've been hearing that word for many, many years in the aesthetics industry and, or just the beauty industry in general, but we don't necessarily always know what it is. So peptides are a very popular ingredient that's used in anti-aging products or firming products, tightening products. Those are actually going to be uh, amino acids. So you're gonna have anywhere from two to 50 amino acids and those are like the building blocks of your skin, really essentially. Um, so even smaller than a protein molecule and those are going to keep everything kind of in place for as long as possible. The other thing is that your peptides are going to be a very, very good boost when we're talking about promoting and stimulating new collagen and new elastin. As I mentioned, the quality and the quantity is going to decrease as we age. Now this is gonna to help to just kind of get everything, get a kickstart on everything and try to stay as young as possible for, <coughs> excuse me, for as long as possible as well. So let's get into it. First serum that I want to talk about is going to be your lifting complex serum. So lifting complex serum is going to be kind of like your 3D volumizer. So when this is really the one that I recommend for anybody who starts to see uh, the first signs of aging that are caused by dehydration. So if you are, I mean, I don't like putting an age necessarily on it, but if you're going to be in your late twenties, early thirties, and that you're starting to see a few different lines in the forehead, or even just globally around the face, you can go with this one. So this is going to work on stimulating your collagen. So kind of, it's going to do your plumping effect. So this is going to help to rehydrate your skin by stimulating your hyaluronic acid, as well as stimulating your natural production of collagen. Right, so collagen keeps you plump, elastin keeps you tight. So this is going to be your plumping type of serum. Now, yes, for actual wrinkles, visible wrinkles, but it could also be used as a uh, prevention serum too. Super, super hydrating, so very nice. Then we're going to have the firming serum. So firming serum is going to be for everything that's around here. This I always, always recommend to my clients that come in and see me and that they're like, I feel like this is a little loose around here. We don't wanna say that your skin is loose, but what we can do is that we can help to re-sculpt the oval of the face by helping to stimulate your elastin, right? So elastin is going to help to give back that nice tight feeling and always recommend to your clients that they really go down in their neck, on their neck, sorry, and on their decote as well because everything really from here is attached um, to our breast essentially. So we're trying to keep everything in place for as long as possible. The firming serum is also going to work for anybody that has very dilated pores. So dilated pores with the firming serum is gonna to help to give them a nice tightening effect and it really gives a beautiful oxygen, oxygenated look to the skin. So that being said, oxygenation, if you already do have a skin that's predis predisposed to being a little bit rosy, this might not be the best anti-aging serum for you. So in that case, I would strongly recommend you either go with your lifting complex serum or you could even go with your lifting peptide serum, which we're going to cover after. So firming serum, re-sculpt the oval of the face and really therefore stimulating your elasticity. Next, we are going to have the cellular matrix serum, which is this one right here. I know it's upside down, but you guys can still see. And if you have any questions, Put them in the comment box and I'll answer as we go through. 
So your lift, your cellular matrix serum is going to be uh, your Botox-like serum. So we talked about peptides a little bit before. Uh, we talked about the peptides that are going to help to stimulate your collagen and your elastin, but there's also neuro, uh, neuropeptides, which is what we're going to have in here. Gradually, what is going to happen when you're using the cellular matrix serum is that we're going to be able to filter out all of your involuntary muscle contractions. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to replace your Botox, but it is going to help to control how often you're going to be doing those little muscle movements that really are going to cause um, premature aging from over contracting. So that's going to be your cellular matrix serum. Now you can see there's a little tip for those of you who do purchase this. I, I did get the question, what do I do with this? This is really just there to make sure that your product is not leaking, but you can also kind of massage around the product with the little tip. Just make sure that you're using this in the actual, um, in the actual areas. So it's not something that you should be using all around your face because it is going to work on everything muscle related. So this quantity is really more than enough for to cover your full uh, forehead in between your eyebrows as well as around your eyes. So we have our neuropeptide in here. We're also going to have the marine collagen as well as marine elastin to give you that nice instant plumping effect. Uh, reminder for those of you who are not aware, we should be using the, the cellular matrix serum. <laughs> Sorry about that. We should be using the cellular matrix serum twice a day for the first month, really to ensure that the peptide is going to be able to work. After that, you can do maintenance once a day, uh, but if not, ideally it should be done twice a day, right? So twice a day for the first month, and then after that as a maintenance once a day, and keep in mind it is a local uh, product. We really don't put this all over the face because it will not benefit us as much as if we're putting it in the appropriate areas. Other question that I have gotten this morning in the French group, for the nasolabial fold, is it going to be effective? Technically, no, because it's not going to be a muscle, this is not a muscle uh, related wrinkle, it really is a fold. Now, because of the marine collagen and marine elastin inside, you might get a nice little plumping effect, but to help to, to fill up the fold, in, in that case, you'd be better off going with the lifting complex serum for that case specifically. Fourth serum I want to talk about is the Vitalift C serum. Now, another thing other than peptides that we hear about all the time is uh, vitamin C. Everybody wants to have vitamin C and everybody wants to have different concentrations of vitamin C and we're always talking about, is it better to go with a 10%? Is it better to go with a 20, a 30? Should I do 100%? What should I be doing? This question is going to vary depending on the product you're working with, but with the Vitalift C serum, what we have is that we have the vitamin C that's encapsulated in a liposome, which is kind of like a little protective membrane, if you want to call it like that. So let's say I have my vitamin C molecule, I'm going to have my little protective membrane to make sure that the vitamin C doesn't go on my skin, it's actually going to go in my skin. By going in my skin, I'm going to have all of my effects on my collagen, of course, uh, but also my pigmentation. So that's why you get a very nice preventative but also corrective care for somebody who has had a lot of sun exposure, didn't necessarily wear their sunscreen when they were supposed to, but also very good for anybody who has a genetic predisposition to getting a little excess pigment. So we're talking about somebody who has uh, constantly dark circles, not dark circles because they're tired, but just because it's going to be a little bit more brown around their eyes, we're going to go with this one. You're also going to have some uh, hyaluronic acid in here too. So again, hydration is really the key to preventing your first signs of aging caused by dehydration. So very good for that. <clears throat> and the last serum that I want to talk about, which I did mention in my French video for those of you who were attending, is the lifting peptide serum. So lifting peptide serum is actually one of our newest uh, serums that we launched back in December. And this, you're going to have a trilogy of peptides. So you'll have different types of peptides that are going to work on really different aspects of aging. You're also going to have the stabilized vitamin C in here. You're going to have some glycogen. Glycogen is a sugar, right? So if I'm able to give sugar, it keeps your cells energized and just keeps everything functioning the way that it should be really for as long as possible. And we also have some soothing benefits from chamomile too. So when I was talking about what anti-aging serum would be best for somebody who has very sensitive skin or very red skin. In that case, I would recommend lifting peptide serum, beautiful smell, 
and also very, very light texture. You're not going to get any sticky effects from it. Uh, no tightening, no like tightening in the sense of my skin feels dry. You're going to feel tight, but you're going to feel firm, which is really what we wanna have. So it comes in a little dropper like this, and you really don't need a lot because of how fluid it is. So this is about as much as I use for my full face and my neck. So global anti-aging is going to be, oh, this smells so good. I use this every day, but I still have the smell every single time. So this is going to be your global anti-aging serum uh, when we're working with the uh, Nelly Diverse Bioscience line. So recap, lifting complex serum is going to be your volumizer type of serum when we're seeing uh, the, the actual superficial wrinkles, but also the deeper wrinkles, great for the nasolabial fold. Then your firming serum is going to be for really everything related to re-sculpting the oil of the face, tightening the pores, and just giving a nice, nice little pull. Then the uh, cellular matrix serum is going to be for everything related to muscle contractions. So the packaging itself, visually speaking, Botox-like serum is really a good way to remember it. Remember to only use it in the actual areas that is required uh, and for the first month twice a day. And then after that, once a day is fine as a maintenance. But LFC, anybody who wants to have a nice glow to the skin, control collagen, elastin, as well as pigmentation. And then you have your lifting peptide, which is an excellent anti-aging serum for uh, your more sensitive red skins. Now, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment box. I do see that there are a few comments. I'm just gonna see if there is any direct questions. I love seeing all of you tune in. All right, perfect. I don't think there are any questions for today. If you do have questions, just like all of the other videos, sorry, uh, please put them in the comment box or you can also call us directly for all of the clients who are looking for product recommendation. You can either call your esthetician uh, or there is the chat system online that we can answer you and we could always refer you back to your esthetician if there's anything else. Oh, serums, which twice a day? Good question. Ideally, all serums should be used twice a day. Um, something that I actually didn't mention, which I'm glad uh, Shelly brought it up, is there's some people who have different uh, aspects of aging that they want to work on. So what you can do is that you can recommend a certain serum during the day and a different one at night. So if I have, yes, the wrinkles, but also the lack of tone, I'm disciplined. I like having my daytime routine as well as my nighttime routine. I'll do lifting complex serum during the day and firming serum at night. The cellular matrix serum though, it should definitely be used twice a day. And because it's local, you could be doing like your uh, cellular matrix, your, bah. you could be doing your lifting complex serum, sorry, uh, for your cheeks. You can go down your neck with it too. And then after that, you could apply your, lift, your cellular matrix serum in your forehead. So cellular matrix, definitely twice a day. But other than that, uh, all of them should be used twice a day or combined with a different product. And really don't be afraid to customize. The key to actually getting results is going to be customizing your own skincare regimen, but also your exfoliation, which we talked about on Monday. Exfoliation is key to making sure that anything is going to be going in. If you're working with uh, what we like to consider dermal correctors, you should be doing your exfoliation once to twice a week. Of course, always ask your esthetician or your facialist what she recommends based on your skin because we can't necessarily see you uh, in person right now, but they are going to be able to um, to cover that for you. So I think that's all the questions that we have for today. All right, that's it. So I will be seeing you guys on Friday where we're going to be talking about the different oils and how to customize your oils, what are oils for, and also who should be using them. Thank you.